All right, your challenge is complete. You've earned your GORUCK Tough patch. It's awesome, it's great. You've slept for a day. You've consumed all sorts of beer, all sorts of calories, fantastic. There's one thing you've still gotta do. You've gotta take care of your equipment. You've gotta clean your ruck. It's very simple. Do not put it in the washer. Do not put it in the dryer. This is your washer with the hose and the brush, and the dryer is the sunlight. All right, dish soap. This is America. Everybody's got it. It's awesome. You put it in your bucket, and you put the water in the bucket. You fill it up. Don't need too much dish soap. This comes next. Again, back to this is your washer. It's awesome. During the challenge, you were carrying each other and carrying logs. Now you're going to use those, those big washers you got right here and a little elbow grease, and you're going to clean your rucksack. It's a pretty common thing in the military. When you're done with any operation, you come back and, and you take care of your equipment first. You make sure that everything is good to go again. If you let all the mud and all the dirt and all the everything soak in for too long, it just kind of starts to bind to the, to the, the, the fabric and, you know, it's not ideal. What you want to do is take care of it fast, right? You can put it in a bathtub. You can do all sorts of different things. That's fine. That's on your bathtub, right? I recommend this way. Now, it's a hard step, but I'm going to actually take my Gorut Tough Patch off for a bit. See, there's a bunch of grime and filth and dirt. I'm going to put it up there next to my beer, and I'm going to make sure that nothing happens to it, because you did a lot to earn that thing. All right, so the important thing when you're hosing this off is just to really get the, the, the really messy stuff off. If you've seen Pulp Fiction, it's kind of like, you know, they're cleaning the car and they got to get all the really messy, dirty grime and blood and sweat and tears out of the car. It's kind of like that with your rucksack. You got to get all the messiest, all the dirtiest parts off. Where, wherever there's caked mud, wherever there's anything caked, get rid of that first, right? Zippers. Zippers are the weak part of any rucksack. You really need to, really need to make sure to clean these maximum like get rid of all the dirt and all the grime that's in there first before you start running the zipper along the chain it just you keep running it along the chain it, it sort of bears it thin a little bit meaning you know it's kind of like running your engine with no oil in it so get all the messy stuff get all the dirt out of there run it run it along that zipper chain right there Make sure to get all the dirty, messy, grimy stuff off first so that at first appearance, that looks like it's a rucksack that just got wet, all right? Now, what we want to do is open it up. See, it's stuck a little bit. That's normal. We'll walk you through that. There's, there's some filth in here. That's fine. That's normal, right? If you never get dirty in life, you're doing something wrong, okay? So... See, this is sort of the same, same procedure. Might help to flip that inside out. There's some dirt and some grime there too. Get all of that, all right? Talking the, the really, really messy stuff, use the power of the hose. The hose is a great thing. Use its power, all right? You can flip that inside out, better access. You see there's some beach, some beach in there. That's pretty cool, right? But it's not cool anymore. We want to get it out right? The zippers, the zippers are what you need to pay extra attention to, right? So just travel it along the entire zipper, both, both sides. Make sure to get as much as you can out of there. All right, so the outside and the inside, oh yeah, the slant pocket. So you get up in there too. Gravity, let gravity work for you. It's awesome. All right, so everything Oh, look what else I forgot. This right here, you never know what's gonna get in there. All right, not too much grime in there, but you wanna run that along the zipper as well. Make sure to get that, anything that's caked on there, you wanna get that off. All right, and then back to the gravity thing. Let gravity do the work for you. All right, so at first sight, this ruck has just been soaked. It's been soaked with, with water hose pressure, which is the preferred technique. Now I gotta wash it. Soapy water, brush. This is my new washer. Not the machine, 
This is my washer. I dip that in there and I just go over it like this. It's awesome. Right? A little bit of friction, not too much. Just a little bit. All right. Sort of travel along the routes of the zippers for sure. Right? It's pretty, it's pretty basic. When in doubt, more soapy water. All right? More soapy water. Sure to go over everything, including the bottom. A lot of stuff gets on the bottom. Sure to follow the length of all the molly webbing, all that sort of fun stuff. The back side, the front side, the every side. All right? Follow along the routes of the zippers. That's really important. Go to the inside. Recommend flipping it inside out. Something like this. All right? Same thing. You guessed it. When in doubt, more soapy water. Bam. Here you go. Need to open that up. Great. Get in there. Great. Do that. Common sense is now officially common. All right, good. Looks like a hot, soapy mess. That's awesome. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to rinse it. Imagine that. More water. When in doubt, more water. All right, now I just got to wash the washer. There we go. Bam. Good. All right, I'm out here in the sunlight, AKA nature's dryer. Do not put this in your dryer. These shoulder pads, they're, they're glued together. There's two types of padding. Sometimes that can melt depending upon how badass your dryer is. Don't do that. I've got my tough patch still, of course, I'm protecting it now. It's not on my rock because I need everything to dry. So I'm gonna put that back in my pocket. Essentially, the rock is now clean. It's just awaiting the sunlight. So I've got a carabiner on the top. I'm going to carabiner it to there. I'm going to give it all sorts of different angles. One trick, you put a t-shirt or something in the laptop compartment in the back. It's going to help with that drying process. I've got the, it's not about you shirt. Just shove it in there. Make sure that all the pockets are open, including this one. You want to get that some, some direct exposure to the wind, to the sun, to, to anything that you can just to help that part dry. It's, it's harder to get it direct sunlight. So I'm just going to hang this up and I'm going to let nature do her thing and then it's going to be dry. That's how that works. There's one final step related to maintenance of your equipment, your rucksack, zip care, right? We see a lot of things come into Go Ruck Scars program, which is where we fix your stuff if you break it, right? We see a lot of stuff that's easily fixed with just a little bit of lube right here. It's kind of like oil in your engine. It doesn't work too well without it. Zippers are inherently the weak spot in any rucksack, period, the end. They're just inherently weak. They're held together with threads. You've got you've to oil it up to help, them, uh, to help them do what they're intended to do properly. All right? So basically, I've got it. It's dry. It's, it's open still. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go like this. You squeeze just a little bit right here, and you just drag that along the entire length of the zipper, just like that. It's easy. I prefer to do it on the inside. It's really shooter's preference. You can do it from the outside if you want. All right. Just make sure to run it. It doesn't require too much, uh, too much pressing of the thing. It just kind of comes out a little bit, and then the bristles help disperse it across the zipper. You'll obviously see it start to shine a little bit more on top of there. And then you just kind of close it like that. And, it, and it's going to flow a lot more easily, right? So I would recommend that once you've done that, you kind of do it a little bit more, just back and forth, all the pieces, back and forth, back and forth, along you just kind of work it in to the grooves of the entire rucksack. And then you're going to get a lot better performance out of your zippers next time. Again, it's really important to make sure that you've got all the mud and all the dirt and all this stuff out of the zippers, or else, you know, it, it, this can't do its job. It's got to be clean first. So that's what the, the water and the soapy water and the, the washer that you used right here, that's what that's for is to get rid of all that dirt and grime. And then you put oil in the engine and that's it. <laughs>